Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Matt, Greybeard Garage, my brother Nate. So today, you guys have, today we're gonna talk about what the total costs were for this little project of the trailer and the DR mower. And my brother put together a list of everything he spent and also a list of the items that were purchased. Um, we'll post an image of that. We won't necessarily run through each and every item. You guys have seen pretty much what was replaced, uh, you know, from the start. So we'll go ahead and let Nate here tell you a little bit about uh, what the initial cost was and then what our what your investment was and what we think you've come up with as All far right. as the deal on the backside. So uh, essentially on the deal, uh, the original sale, they wanted about $500 for uh, the trailer along with the DR. And we offered them four, we ended up meeting in the middle, four uh, fifty for a trailer and a mower. Mower with the fire damage, we knew going into it there was going to be some some repair some replacement of parts uh, and with that the mower ended up running about $317 to get it to the state where it's running now um, as far as comparison to mowers these mowers used right now are between about 12 to 1500 mm -hmm. um, used for this age for this age right brand spanking new if you were gonna go to DR and get one of these they're about three grand I believe now or 3500 yeah about so 35 to 4,000 depending on the the package it, so as far as the deal goes it's a killer deal for the lower side of it um, some people kind of scoffed at it thought it was gonna be a lot of money or work uh, when I came down to it uh, we probably have three hours worth of actual work into it and uh, as far as the money 317 bucks can't beat it for getting a running mower yep especially something like this exactly and yep. I like I said before we'll take it up to our property and we're going to mow some pretty tall brush that's about as tall as me uh, to give you a really good idea of what it can do. As far as the trailer goes, <clears throat> the trailer had a little bit more money into it um, pretty much because the tires were shot and these tires are not cheap. Um, I mean they're cheap in the sense of, of tires but uh, the tires were $250 alone of, of the expense. Um, with everything else on top of that though it came out to about $446. So for 446 bucks, the trailer is, is fully functioning. Um, lights, everything, side lights. I went a little, you know, extra on it, and yep. we got reflective tape on it. I went ahead and painted it all. Um, some cosmetic stuff, not necessary to make it work. Um, you know, if you shave off that, I probably spent 100 bucks on just making it look pretty. Um, <clears throat> so all in all, again, not a bad deal. Between the both of those, um, what was that about seven? Seven sixty. Yeah, the twelve hundred bucks with everything. Yep. So, it, it, as far as the deal goes, I have twelve hundred bucks in, in invested, yep. and I got a trailer with it. So the way I look at it, it was almost like buying. If I was just to buy this, I wouldn't have gotten the trailer. I wouldn't have gotten any use out of a trailer. Yep. And so I'm kind of like I got a free trailer. Yeah, pretty much. So you want to talk about the trailer and like, is it coming back or is it staying staying up? So this is a one-way trip for this, uh, this trailer. Um, it's going to have a 12-hour road trip to North Carolina. Uh, so it is, a, it is going up there now. However, when I get it up there, um, I have a UTV and other things that it'll probably be used for if I need to take it into the shop. It can definitely handle the weight. The axle's easily gonna handle the weight on this and I don't think there's any problem with it, with it handling it. Only thing I might like to do on it is the uh, the tongue on here is extremely long, which makes it a little awkward for turning and maneuvering because it is an old boat trailer. Yep. Uh, so more likely I will cut off about three to three feet or so of that and and replace the existing tongue, which I think will make it much more maneuverable. And up on the property, I do want to use the trailer for um, other projects like on our UTV. Uh, being 600 pounds of the trailer, um, it, the UTVs can do 1,500 pounds of towing capacity, so I can definitely put some stuff on it, haul around if I want as well. So it'll come to a, it'll be a, a lot of use for the trailer yeah. as far as it goes. So what was your total weight on the trailer? Uh, the weight of the trailer is 600 pounds exact, wow. which I don't know if they, they just do that again. <laughs> maybe they rounded up or down. They I rounded up or down or something, but yeah, it was 600 pounds. Um, so all in all, it is. It's not bad. I have a 2500 uh, Chevy diesel that probably won't even feel this pulling it up there, so it shouldn't be a problem. Wow. 
my sh I well we got this in my truck and I have the 1500 Silverado with just the 5.3 liter and it didn't feel yeah. it didn't feel like there was anything behind it pulling this either I mean really I pull I pull my 20 foot trailer with with our um, our Rural King tractor with the, all the implements on it and it you barely notice it's there yeah. I mean you feel it on a bump but that's about it so. Yeah, so uh, all in all, I gotta say I'm happy he pointed out this this deal. I was a little skeptical at first, but uh, yeah. I I had to uh, say I, I trust <laughs> I trusted him and said all right, let's drop the money. And, and worst case that happens is I have a parts uh, piece of parts here that I can part out or sell. Yeah, and definitely. no matter what, we're gonna walk away with at least a functioning trailer or a, a pile of metal. If it didn't pan out. I would have bought it off of you and used it for mine because. I have DR mower, the very exact same, probably I think same year, and like we said in previous videos, mine is just slightly different because I don't have the walking differential in mine, but it would part out exactly the same. So I wasn't really worried about, you know, we weren't really worried about losing money because I would have bought bought it off you for a parts mower. But but um, for the registration, I don't how many of you know this, but we didn't get a title. You didn't get a title nope, with this, right? No title. So we had no title with this trailer. But in Florida, it has a very unique system of getting trailers registered. Um, you don't necessarily need a title. A lot of times, they'll just go off of a, a note, basically a, a written note stating that you know they're transferring ownership or they sale. sold, mm -hmm. or they sold the the uh, trailer to you for X amount of dollars. Um, in other cases, if it's a homemade trailer. Or, or a homemade parts. trailer okay. built from parts or whatever you can actually register it as a homemade trailer which requires no bill of sale and uh, no title yep. and um, you know that's just how Florida works I mean I bought my trailer mine was actually a manufactured trailer that had been destroyed by a tree company and I rebuilt it and I just registered it as as a homemade trailer even though it was technically Previously it was previously whatever. registered as you know yeah. as a, a manufactured trailer, but it had been destroyed. So right. the rules on it are pretty pretty lean, pretty loose. As long as you built it or assembled it with parts, then you're going to be yeah. fine with it. Um, as far as registration in Florida, it's also cheap. It was fifty six or fifty eight bucks to put it on, and I've got it for uh, a year and a half. So it's yeah. I mean, I have no complaints there. Well. I think that's it guys for this we just wanted to do a real quick uh, wrap-up video to kind of let you know what the initial cost was what our part totals look like yep. you know what the end budget resulted in and then you know obviously just talk about what the future is for this thing and I know when you go up you're gonna grab me some videos so we can throw that out there for you guys to check out at a later date absolutely so guys that's it that was just a real quick wrap-up of what we did here with the trailer we really appreciate you coming and checking us out if you like what you see here, hit that like button. Go ahead and subscribe. And that way you'll get some notifications each time we post out some new videos. And those of you that have subscribed, we really do appreciate it. Thanks so much. And as always, you can do anything if you put your mind to it. I'm Matt from Graybeard Garage. And I'm Nate. All right. Thanks, guys. Take care.